Hi guys, disassembly time or tear down I suppose. My daughter's given me this water pump out of her fish tank. Said it didn't work and she's replaced it. Well, I can't find anything wrong with it to be honest. Um, if I plug it in, stick it in some water. If I don't put it in enough water, then it doesn't work. Because the water's not getting up high enough to actually get to the pump. If we add some water, and we eventually get to the right height, then the pump will start any second now. There we go. Pump is working fine. In fact too well because I'm splashing water everywhere. <laughs> And that's on the low setting. If I turn it on the high setting, <laughs> we're really making a mess. So, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. But I'm still going to take it apart so we can have a look inside. I've unplugged it. First bit is just the filter on the bottom. And that just pulls out. That's some sort of... Um, uh, what do we call it? Well, gauze or foam that filters the bits out, sucks it in the bottom there, comes out the top here. And then in the top there, that's where the pump is. It's just a little impeller on an electric motor that spins round, and that bit there just covers the hole. Can you see that clearly enough? I'm not sure we've got enough light. So that varies the amount of water that can flow through. I'll just switch it on again so we can see that spin round. So that's all that does. Now next bit of disassembly. I think that looks like that will pull off there. Yeah, there we are. So we can see that even easier now. So that's our little motor. That, I think that's what you call cogging. If you turn it around a bit, it flicks to the next position. So that's probably an AC motor. That's interesting. I was hoping it was a little DC motor. Let's just switch that on again. I don't know if we can take it apart any further without actually cutting it open. It looks like that might come apart. I have to get something in there to lever it a little bit. Oh, while we're looking at it, just there is the hole that goes up to there. So the water's drawn in through this hole, which is in the middle of there. That spinning round pushes the water to the outside, which pushes it up and out of there. moving it. Okay, well, 
We haven't really got any further, have we? That's a sealed unit. Yeah, that's what that is. Whatever's in there, little electric motor, is in there and then sealed with resin to hold it all together. Oh, even easier. Now I can see exactly what it is. If I'd have done that first of all. Magnet. So that'll be a coil. No point in trying to take that apart. That'll be a coil that spins that magnet. I think the only possible reason for it not having worked very well is there might have been some muck up in there. By complete coincidence, I've recently watched a video of somebody taking a washing machine um, pump apart. If I can find the video, I'll put a link to it, because that will save me actually cutting this open. All there will be in there is a coil with a metal former that goes around here and the AC current is enough to drive that around by changing the magnetic field. Yep, that's it. That's as far as I'm going to go. I'm not going to cut that part, but I will put a link to a video where somebody did. Because I'm going to put this back together. It still works. I'm trying to figure out a way of demonstrating the magnetic field generated by the AC current without taking this all apart. So I've just got this on a bit of string now. At the moment it's attracted to the metal core. If I switch the power on, nothing very exciting, but at least it does demonstrate that there's a magnetic field being generated, an alternating magnetic field. Back together, try and catch the water this time. Yeah, that works fine. lift it out and there's no water getting up to the pump and it doesn't work. Back in again and away we go. So I can't find anything wrong with it other than there may have been a bit of dirt or something or other up inside. 